Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own custom PS3 themes then install them on your PlayStation 3 system. I've recently made a video on downloading custom themes and installing them. This video is creating custom themes and installing them. On your internet, you need to go to this address blog.us.playstation.com forward slash all this. The link will be in the description basically. Go down and you want to click on this link, how to make PS3, PS3 themes.zip. Click on it and it will be directed to mediafire.com. You download it, download the file, it's only 3.77 meg so it won't take long. Save it. And as you can see I've already downloaded it previously. That was just a test to see if it actually didn't have any viruses. It does say here this file has been um, this file has been scanned for viruses and it has it's virus free. After my download is finished, it will automatically scan for viruses again. And that came clean. And then when I scanned it with Norton, it came up clean clean as well. Just being a bit just start uh, just test it all the time. You know, see what's like. So I'll just pause my cam studio while it's finishing. So there we go, it's downloaded. If you want to show your desktop, and it's here, double click it, click extract all files. Next, next. Show extracted files. Finish. Close that other window. Now, in this step one create, open it, maximize. This is all the XMB icons, the, the icons that will appear on the cross media bar. See here? All of them. And then the preview and the backgrounds and everything like that. To edit these icons, you simply have to wish edit. Let's say for this, for example, friends underscore players met. You'll notice how it's a 128 by 128 PNG image. Do not change the file type or file size of any of the images. Some of them are different sizes. For example, this is a 64 by 64, and others are 280 or whatever, and the background images will obviously be larger. So, to edit them, you simply click, right click, and open, with, open it with, with your editing software. So, in my case, Photoshop. You can use. Uh, what I'm saying fast. You can use um, GIMP, Paint, whatever you want, whatever whatever you've got. Computer has been a bit slow because I've got quite a lot of open I need to update my my ROM actually on my ROM it's fair but so here it is I'm just going to zoom in a bit and I'm just going to do a very simple edit of a picture that I've saved before. So, file. Uh, open. You'll notice how the, there's a black and white checkered bo boxes in the background. That means that it's transparent, so the the background or the image behind it will show through. Um, this icon that I've got here isn't transparent, 
so it won't show through. It'll, it'll, it'll look a bit weird on the PlayStation 3, but this is just this is just to show you an example. Just to make it fit. And delete this layer. Okay, now I'm simply going to click File, Save. Not save as, I'm not changing the file name, file type, or anything, I'm just saving it. I'm overwriting that original file. So now that's saved, I can close all this. And there it is. You do that for every icon you wish to change. And then you actually need to create the P3T file, which is the file installed in. To do that, you have this, and you go back to the file you downloaded. You go step to assemble, assembly, sorry, and you have this P3T compiler. You don't open it, you just make the window smallish so you can see it on top, like that. On the step on create, you find the file named ps3 underscore template, which should be an XML file. XML document, see? You click on it, and you just simply drag and drop it onto the P3C compiler. Click run, and DOS will open. It'll go through a whole little process of compiling it. If there's an error, for whatever reason, it will tell you what the error is, and you need to go and figure out how to change it so it doesn't error again. After it's done this, you just simply press enter, and your file is made. You can close step 2. Now, on your step 1, a bunch of .gim files will be created. You just need to delete these simply by going to here, details, file, file type, gim. Highlight all the gim files. Press delete. It should be 66. Once that's deleted, you go back to thumbnail switch, sorry. You take this file, ps3 theme underscore template. Right click, copy. Insert the memory stick into your computer. And navigate to it. On your memory stick, you need to have a file called ps3. Then theme. Okay, you need to right click, paste, and that's just because I've got a theme of the same type. Okay, so now you've got your PS3 theme saved on your memory stick, you need to install it onto your PS3 system. So I'm just going to switch to my other camera now. Insert the memory stick into your PlayStation 3 and navigate to Settings, Theme Settings theme, and then all the way up to the top, install. Select the USB device, and then scroll down, and you want to click on the one displayed theme title, I think it says. Yep. Then, navigate back to theme, scroll down to the bottom, and click displayed theme title. Press right, and click apply. And here's your new theme. I'll just sign in to show you the icon, which I changed. Remember, I changed the player's map icon to the same icon icon as my uh, YouTube account icon. So it's just standing in. And I'll scroll, and there it is. There's my icon. Remember, you can change all the different icons you want, including the background. So if you just navigate back to theme settings and click information on it this time, all the bits. All the, those bits of information can be changed. They are advanced settings, and in my next video, I'll be showing you how to change them. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and keep up to date.